Hey, praise the Lord and greetings to you all once again in Jesus' name. This is Brother Clinton. It is the third day of the week, the 11th of October, the year of our Lord, 2016, 5777. For those of you who know me and you know this ministry, you know that I talk an awful lot about who Jesus Christ is. And the reason for that is very simple and very important. It's because who Jesus Christ is is pretty much the crux of the doctrine of Christ. And the Bible says, if any man transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ, he hath not God. So if you don't, if you're not abiding in the doctrine or in the teaching of who Jesus Christ is and all the things that Jesus Christ taught his disciples, then you're then you don't have God. The Bible says that in Second John chapter one verse nine. And so, um, it's very important for us to understand who God is. And there's a lot of confusion about that in the churches today. And so I just want to make a very short message to explain to you who the Holy Spirit is. And there's another video on this channel, it's about a half an hour long, called Who is the Holy Spirit? And I encourage you to watch that because that will go into more detail about this. But really quickly, the Holy Spirit is God the Father. And it's very important for us to understand. The scripture says in Luke chapter 1, verse 35, and let me just read that for you. Luke chapter 1, verse 35. The scripture says, And the angel answered and said unto her, of course, her is referring to Mary, the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. So we see from this just this one verse that the Holy Ghost is the Father of the Son of God. All right. Now, having said that, we can see why, by various parts of the Scripture that the Holy Ghost is God the Father. But just two verses that I want to share with you real quick. You know, John, uh, Jesus said in John chapter 4, verse 24, God is a spirit, and they that worship the Father must worship Him in spirit and in truth. God is a spirit. That is a fact that it's a very elementary fact that we who know God know about him, that he is a spirit. God is not a man, he is a spirit. Okay, And being a spirit, the Bible says that God is holy. All right, 1 Peter 1.16 quotes from the law and says, Be ye holy, for I am holy. All right, This is what God said to his people, which is you and me if you belong to him. Be ye holy, for I am holy. Okay, God has declared that he is holy. He is a spirit and he is holy. All right. There are other spirits in the universe, but there are no other spirits in the universe that are holy. Now, God's angels are holy, but yet at the same time, God hath charged his angels with folly, which means that some of his angels have rebelled against him and not been faithful. So his, his angels are not perfectly holy. The only one who is perfectly holy, the only spirit who is holy, is God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, so the Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost, which are two terms that mean the same thing, ghost and spirit are two English words that mean the same thing. The Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit is God the Father. You see, it is not a third person of a trinity. It is not uh, a person apart from God the Father. It's not someone that God the Father spoke to and sent him to another, you know, to, to, to into the earth or whatever. The Holy Spirit is God the Father. If you have the Holy Spirit in you, you have the spirit of your Father in you. Your Father, if you're a Christian, is the Almighty God, and His name is Jesus Christ. That's why His Son's name is Jesus Christ, because His Son got His name by inheritance from His Father. And this is what the Scripture says in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 4. For by inheritance hath the Son of God obtained a more excellent name than the angels. You see, in John 5, 43, I am come in my Father's name. And in John chapter 17, I have manifested thy name unto these which thou hast given me in the world. And so we know that the Son of God is called by his Father's name. So we know that the, the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost is Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ said, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And boys and girls, what is the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost? Well, we can see that very easily when we look in the book of Acts and we see what the name is that the apostles who obeyed Jesus Christ used to baptize people. They baptized people in the name of Jesus Christ. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And who is the Holy Ghost? It's God, the Father. The Holy Ghost 
is God the Father. He is the only Holy Ghost there is. And that's the short, simple message of truth from God's Word that I felt compelled to give you this day. May you be blessed as you continue in the Word of God, and I remain here for you as a minister of the, of the body. Of, of the, I do speak English as a minister of the Word of God, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. Peace.